Hello everyone. We're in our new office. Hi. <laughs> um, we're going to keep this short and sweet because I know that the other videos have gone on a long time uh, and this is a small room so um, we kind of like put it off for ages and we didn't really do anything to it and then we suddenly were like right we need to do something with this and change the layout around, put some pictures up because I think I painted it like painted in September I think like literally nearly October. a year ago yeah we had the desk along the back here because mm -hmm. it fit but we got new desks changed the layout because we realized both of us need to work here it was when lockdown happened essentially we were like we need a double desk we need two chairs we need to change the layout and I much prefer it makes the room feel bigger and cozier and yeah. just yeah we spent a lot of time trying to figure it out we did but um we got good old trusty rustic kerno to make us some desktops he made our bed he made um our bookcase and tv console downstairs he's like featured in all these videos because his stuff is so good um so yeah let's i guess we'll just kind of go back to what it was like before and show you what we've done and then we'll give you a nice little tour of the room and everything in here. So today it's time to tackle our room of doom, which has been this office. What are you giggling at? It's what people say about the room that kind of like is, you know, you, yeah. you're not doing. And this is all the stuff that came out of the room of doom. So it's the office and it's the last place upstairs we need to paint. And it's just been something we've been putting off and off and off. Mm because um, of doing all the other things. But um, once it's painted, we can put the furniture down, away, the things away. Downstairs can start to be normal again because there's not office and camera stuff and receipts and letters and stuff everywhere. We can put things away in here. We're painting it the same as the bedroom just because we have loads of it left and I just want it to be white in here. Yeah. It's like a bluey white, bluey gray white. Yeah, um, I like it. And then, yeah, hopefully it won't, it won't take me more than a couple days should be able to get the majority or at least the ceiling i think and one coat done today fingers crossed mm -hmm. do you think i reckon right i'm gonna paint now all right see you later Skirting boards are done. Don't they look neat? So the walls, it looks so much brighter in here. Maybe it doesn't portray in real life, but just changing it from like a yellow magnolia to just like an off-white is just a world of difference in this room. And then once this shelf has been um, sanded and is wood as well, it will look really, really cool. Um, this obviously needs a clean. It's been sitting in here just storing everything. Um, but it's the first time I've been able to like kind of appreciate the floorboards. And we're going to put the desk there and then kind of put the furniture back. And then we can start kind of decorating this room in the spare bedroom. We're still trying to decide about the radiators because all the radiators are really horrible. If you look at them, they're just not nice and they don't really suit the house. So part of me wants to get a radiator cover, but then you have the issue of like lots of the radiators are like behind the door. So it means you could never, because if there was a radiator cover on it, maybe it'd be fine. I don't know. What do you think, Roxy? She's what? not sure. <laughs> She's just not sure. Sofa is in. Don't know if we said, we got this um, second hand on Facebook. Desk, we need a good clean. I made that desk. I'll insert the video here. That's from Ikea. This is from Trago. And I just popped that plant there. I'm gonna get some lovely shelves to go up here where we can display lots of things. Maybe mount my YouTube plaque there and have a really nice big painting or something here. And yeah. Very happy. Hello from our office. It's been quite some time since we've done anything in this room. And because we've just finished our bedroom, completely finished our bedroom, we're now onto the office because there's only a couple little bits. It's kind of the same with the bedroom. A couple little bits to do. Right now we are gonna put some shelves up so that we can start organizing things away so I can see where everything's at and um, maybe order some organizational bits. We're gonna put two shelves here um, these are the same ones as the ones we've picked up for our bathroom and bedroom from the same guy. Only issue is they're a bit like discoloured, not, I mean they're kind of cool, but I think they'll be fine once they're up. <laughs> Just literally editing the video yesterday where I said the shelves in there were too black and you went, oh moan, moan, moan. 
But yeah, we've got to put the shelves up so we can put like our plants, books, that kind of thing. Um, and then we can organize the desk. So we need to sort through and yeah, just find a place for everything. Make sure there's nothing in here that we don't need. And then we also need to put some pictures up. So we've got this really cool line drawing that Alex got for Christmas for me. And can anyone guess what the line drawing is of? Because it took me a minute. But once you see it, you see it. Just it's of this little one. So it's a little line drawing of Roxy. What's the artist? I'll link it in the description. I'll link the, yeah, the web, it was like a website that did all sorts of different dog breeds. I think it did other animals as well, but I thought it'd be cool to get a big one. So we've got this picture, which we're gonna put on this wall, which I think will look lovely and calm with these sofas. And Alex um, is having a bit more free reign with this room because he wants to put some movie <clears throat> posters up. Because pretty much every other room has been my decisions. I mean, yeah. it's our decisions, so but it's- like what, three movie posters? Yeah. One of them you like. It's kind yeah. of the sort, yeah, this is like one of my favorite movies, but like, it's the sort of thing that, because I love interior design, Alex doesn't really care that much, so he's just let me do the other rooms and he <laughs> likes them anyway. But this room, he fancies some like, more decoration, which Not I really. probably wouldn't do, but it's, I mean, the, uh, we share the house together, so. The main thing in, my, in this room is just the computer and the. Yeah. I mean, I've got all the little. He's got all Pokemon of his little Pokemon bits too, which we can. Out things we can find places for we've got some pictures here um solar system yeah. i got alex this little cat drawing because he loves cats <laughs> i just think it's kind of cute the boots. and we also need to organize all the cables and we've got these suitcases which are kind of empty they've got some bits in them but we need to use them a bit better i'm excited this will be stage one of putting everything up we need to order the frames order any bits we need and then um we can have a really lovely office for all this time we're going to be working from home Good morning. Good afternoon, even. Alex, do you want to tell everyone what happened? Put the shelves up, have a look. <laughs> Should we show you? Yeah. So, Alex put the shelves up. However, they're crooked and he's put pieces of wood here and here because what happened? I came home and... Nothing. Nothing happened. They're all done. <laughs> tell everyone what happened. You were downstairs eating and you refused to help so I had to do the shelves on my own and then they're slightly off and it's really really upset me <laughs> I think I was walking Roxy or was yeah, I doing something we did, else? we did the first one didn't we? Well you helped me do the first one I came one. in and I was, he was like oh they're done yay and I came in I was like Alex sweetheart no, honestly, like, you, you came in and I just literally put the drill down they were crooked and they're s I don't know if they're still crooked it's really hard to tell it so, looks so crooked but when I measure it yeah, given, like, we have a reason. So, both walls on either side are crooked. The floor is crooked. The shelves are also crooked the because crooked. the desk so is crooked. So, it really, yeah, it throws your vision. And the shelves aren't just, like, smooth, flat. They're kind of, like, they kind of curve forwards a bit. So, yeah. And also, the two sets of brackets are slightly different. Like, the ones at the top are slightly <laughs> narrower. <laughs> and... Yeah, we just need to fix them. It's not going to be too much of a big fix. I suggested to Alex. What does it look like on camera? Um, on camera, it actually doesn't look bad, but obviously we can't leave it like that because there's pieces of wood in between. Okay, so in our defense, this is the level on the top one. Completely perfect. Now put it on the second shelf. Also completely perfect, but when you come out, I don't understand. Wait, are they crooked? They don't look crooked anymore. So measure the distance between that shelf and that shelf. What? Top. That? Yeah, yeah. That is 28.8. .8. Right, now do the other side. At the same place. Like What's about the bracket? Yeah. 29.5. See, what the hell? So confusing. The, the thing I, right, what I should have done, I got a bit cocky because we did the first one and instead of, I didn't measure it like that, I just used this again on top and I was like, yeah, that's level, that's fine. Yeah, this one definitely comes up a bit or this one comes down a bit. Roxy! What is she barking at? Anyway, that's where our frustration lies. So and then which one gets moved? Yeah, we need to suss that out and we'll come back to you. 
Right, we made an executive decision. I just shoved some stuff up there. And yes, it is crooked, but also we don't give a, you know, what. But like, if you came in this room, like you're not gonna notice, no one cares, once I'm, the room's decorated. I'm beyond caring. We are beyond caring. Sunday. So I have no idea. I always say the same thing. I don't know when I last filmed because it always is weeks and weeks on end that we don't what? film. The office. Yeah, we did the shelves, didn't we? Oh, maybe we did the shelves, yeah. Or we were like sorting out the office a little bit. So I just went to our office um, that we, we used to rent, obviously because of the pandemic, we haven't been going to the office for months. Um, and I just went there to collect some bits because we're rearranging this office. We changed our plan. Um, we bought two um, tabletops from Rustic Kerno. We commissioned them in a specific size because we're rearranging how the room is and we're now gonna have two desktops against the wall where the window is. And we've ordered two new chairs, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and yeah, so today we're just gonna be arranging those desks and trying to set things up. So we got two chairs from Maison de Monde. Um, Alex laughs at me the way I say that. Is it Maison? How do you say it, Al? Maison du Monde. Why is that how I said it? Yeah, you got it right that time. Maison du Monde. Yeah. Because the other day I was going Maison du Monde and he was laughing. <laughs> um, okay, so let me show you then. So we've got these chairs. They were bloody expensive, not gonna lie. Like they were really, really expensive and I will leave a link to them below. But they were exactly what I wanted because I wanted something that would match to the sofa. Um, I needed arms and I didn't want the legs to be too orange. I found a lot of chairs like this that had no arms, which I love to have my arms on the side of the, the chair. They either had legs that were plastic or like orangey or they had like really quilted backs, which I don't like. So I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna get this one because it is just what I want and it's very comfortable. It's also not a swivel chair because we did have a swivel chair and because the floor in here is literally like this sloped. Uh, it was annoying because you feel like you're falling in the swivel chair so we wanted sort of plain chairs so anyway um, this is what I just picked up from the office one of these Alex drawers from Ikea we have another one in here so the idea is that we're gonna have both of the Alex drawers in the middle desktop desktop and we're gonna unscrew the legs from this desk and put them on the new desktops and we've got to remove all of this and hopefully it fits but as you can see it's very narrow so you know we'll see <laughs> This is the piece of wood that Rustic Kano has done. There's two of them and they just look so cottagey. I love them. I love this reclaimed wood look. I know some of you have commented that you're just not a fan, but I love it. I think it's so natural and cottagey and just gorgeous. This is gonna go here, right in that corner and then over there. And the idea is it should reach to kind of around where the windowsill ends. So um, now we've got to screw the legs on two sides here.
this one's a bit higher because it's like a curved wood, but yeah. like whatever. We can do something with yeah. this. You can see that's at an angle. Yeah. None of this room is. None of this room is straight, which adds much. to the character. <laughs> if we put a couple of, because I've still got that wood and like a bit of carpet to put. Yeah. Under that. But it's actually pretty great. It's not as horribly. I thought it'd be really massive tight. in the room. Yeah. So now moment of truth, we've got to get the chairs in here. But I actually like the way it looks at the minute. Who gets the rug? Oh yeah, the rug, we've got to think about the rug. Might have to go here in the entrance bit, but we'll see. Also, Alex shaved his head, if you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope it tucks under. Yay, that will tuck under! Oh my god, that's amazing! Right, go get the other one. I'm so pleased right now. A bit wonky, but... Oh my gosh. That one doesn't go. <laughs> oh! So we actually have space if we, you know, finish at the end of the day. Okay. So you're sat there. Or I'm, sit at the desk and tuck yourself in a bit, like how you would if you're working. Yeah, that's fine. Like, there's plenty of space for me to walk past. Excuse me! <laughs> That's wait. We're gonna fight over whose desk is whose now. Ah, look at this. It's pretty sweet. Isn't it rocks? And that's gonna be her seat. I actually think it works so much better. <laughs> Being such a weirdo. <laughs> So I just spent the last like half an hour or so, maybe even longer, sorting all the cables underneath the desk. But look, it's so neat. So we've got the speakers sellotaped to the top and then we've got the computer cable going down like this to the back. And then this is all sellotaped along here and down here. And then at the back, it's all looped in a cable tidy and then the hard drive is down there. Previously, it had all of the cables just hanging loose. The hard drive was on the top of the computer. Now, all that's up here, all that needs to be up here is just the speakers, the um, keyboard and mouse. And so down here, when you're looking at it, obviously you'd never look from this angle. When you're looking at it, it all looks neat and tidy. Obviously it's not perfect, because I know that you can get proper things that really make everything look perfect. But um, And this has to be here, because Alex needs to unplug it if he wants to swap it. But I'm really happy with that. Very happy with that. And then we've Sorry, got. I don't. And then here I've got one of those little things that you put on the desk to organise all the cables. So there's my laptop charger, my Apple Watch charger, our Amazon Echo, and then this is a phone charger, a wireless one. So that is so great. And it kind of just looks a bit more modern. Obviously, this is not going to be here, but as you can see, Alex's side, it's going to look hopefully something like this. Maybe we'll add a plant and some other bits, but it's just gonna look so much neater and mine should look very simple. Anyway, I'm rambling. We'll see you tomorrow when we put the pictures up. <laughs> Time to hang the pictures. This one's going up first. Um, we're do gonna do an op- All right, Alexa. Um, we're gonna go for an off-center sort of thing. Alex's bottom is in the way at the minute. We're gonna hang this one here and then the solar system here, because I think it looked really nice above the suitcases. Let's go, let's put this picture up. Reading someone deciding wall colours and like asking for advice on whether to paint the cornice or not. And someone said about, um, I like to change my room colours regularly so I couldn't be bothered painting cornices too each time and yours are absolutely stunning. And then she said, I would change everything regularly if it wouldn't end my marriage. That's how I feel about us. Like I would genuinely change things around all the time if it wouldn't completely you drive you nuts. Want, as long as I know to do it. <laughs> Are you hearing this conversation? That's <laughs> you filming. Does anyone else have the same? 
Like genuinely, I feel like I would do so much all the time. I was saying to Alex about changing the hallway colour, like, which is want, a... If you want to spend the day painting, <laughs> fine. Like I, I said that I would do it and Alex freaked out. I was like, because I, pa I painted the landing the same colour as the spare bedroom. And the other day I was like, Alex, don't kill me. But I'm thinking of repainting the landing white. And he was like, oh. And I was looking at the living room because I am... Um, I just did it and I was thinking, I want to move the, because we just posted the makeover and I was like, I want to like change the bookcase a little bit and like move things around on there. And I was thinking, Alex is going to think I'm absolutely bonkers, but I'll talk about the landing in another video, but we'll see. I probably won't do it until we actually do the hallway downstairs, but let's get on with this, this painting, shall we? Alexa, play. Hanging pictures in our house sucks because we just put the level on it and it's pretty much accurate. It's a teeny, teeny, teeny bit crooked. Whereas the ceiling, you put the level at the ceiling and it's completely off. Rosie wants to go on a walk and she keeps bringing me her little toy don't you little one but we've got to film this video first <laughs> so Alex is gonna chill on the sofa this is the office and it's just so great isn't it yeah we love it so much I'm gonna show you this corner first so when you come in the room we have these suitcases that I got on Facebook Marketplace and for the longest time had no idea what to do with but we finally figured it out and we've got storage in there and then this very cool like tripod um, lamp which Alex picked up. I've kind of let Alex do some design in here of his choice and express himself a little bit more and then we've got this nice print of the solar system and we've got these frames from John Lewis, I think. We've got yeah. some in the whole room. And then I'm going to put you on a tripod to show you the rest we, of the room. We might change the radiator, like we said. No, we like, we'll probably yeah. paint them at some point, who knows. But it's just too much of an expense for the for what it's worth. They're just radiators. So Alex is just loving filming this video. So Alex got this print. Where did you get it from? Oh, it was for Christmas and it was a lady. Um, <laughs> Alex? It just it appeared. It's like a Facebook advert. And I was like actually look really good but and it's like a European can you, website can you guess who, who it's of? it's of little Rossi <gasps> so I guess you choose the breed right and this is a Cocker Spaniel yeah she had so many different breeds and, and it's actually massive it doesn't look very big on size. camera but it's really huge yeah. and we decided to put it slightly off centre because we had it central and I just preferred it off centre I thought it looked a bit better you can see it when you come in the room you can see it when you come in the room it just fits and then it's we've got this wonky. this is a bit wonky got this really cute print um i think it was from a place called illustrated living and it's of cats i got that for alex again it's in the same um frames and then over here we have two movie posters this one's slipped i need to oh, fix no. that um so this is one of my favorite movies my neighbor totoro and alex also just loves blade runner so they're quite cool posters as well it's not necessarily about the movie the posters are just very cool and then here is our lovely shelves with my book, of course. I'll link this below if you want to grab a copy. Um, and we've got some pictures here of the book launch, which are really cute. That's me and Alex. And then me and my dad. And then me and my mum and my dad. Me and Immy. Look, this is so cool. It looks like some kind of really old vintage photo, doesn't it? Um, we were like rehearsing before we went on stage because Immy was interviewing me. Um, and then there's me and Immy, happy as 
anything. Um, and if you don't follow Amy, go follow her, Sustainably Vegan. And then this is from one of our close friends' weddings. Was it last year? Was Wait. it the year before? Oh yeah, yeah, last year. Yeah, and this is all from this Instax camera. And this is a little illustration I did. Um, I went to a workshop for botanical watercolour drawings. Um, up here we've got lots of books. They're mostly kind of like self-help, like motivational books or knowledgeable books on like habits and property development, that kind of stuff. And then there's my YouTube plaque for 100K. And then we've got this lovely sofa, which Alex is modeling beautifully. We've got this second hand on Facebook. Yep. Got this on Etsy. These were from downstairs, actually, these cushions. I moved them upstairs recently. Yeah. And then this lovely jute circular rug. And then we just have our desk set up. So Alex has got a desktop computer with all of his jazz and his nice glowy computer under there, which we actually organized all the wires. We sellotaped them all under the desk, which is wonderful. Look. <laughs> it's very cool. He's very happy about that. And he games up here and we've got that poof so that he can like sit on the chair with a poof and I can, you can put your feet up basically. Um, and then I haven't got a computer, but we're going to get a Mac, I think, but um, it's quite nice to just have like a quite a clear desk. Got some desk tidies from, I think they're from Worth London. This thing, which is so e useful for wires, it tidies them all away. Our printer and a nice view of the garden. And I think that's kind of it. Yeah. And there's loads of um, equipment and stuff stuffed under here, like tripods and lighting and drone and <laughs> oh, yeah, that's loads of stuff. My old laptop. Yeah, <laughs> but that is our office and we've been trying to put it to good use, but we will do Matt more now because we're back on YouTube. I know it's been a while since we uploaded our last video. It's been a month. Yeah. We took a lot of time off, but we're back on YouTube and the new schedules are Monday and Thursdays. So make sure you're subscribed. Well, Lots of run of... Huh? The last, I think it was a garden one, or my hair was Oh, your like hair was shaved. all shaved. Yeah. Um, yeah, lots of Renault vlogs and updates, house updates to come so we can show you. I just kind of like want to get them all out there because I feel like we've left you hanging on a lot of rooms. So, mm. so yeah. many rooms were kind of like 90% done for a I long know, time. I know, the spare bedroom. We'll do the spare bedroom next. Yeah. But, um, yes. Yeah. Is we'll... there a nice lighting in here in the afternoon? Yeah, really nice lighting in here. I'm just looking out of the line of clothing hanging on the... Yeah. On the washing line, blowing in the sun. Yeah. Blowing in the sun, blowing in the wind. Didn't even catch that. <laughs> um, but yeah, subscribe for more Renault vlogs and updates. I'm going to do like a, I think I'll do a spare bedroom video and also I'll do just like a general update on the house and stuff because we've got some like change of thoughts and things. So mm -hmm. yeah, but um, hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in our next video. Subscribe and like. Love you all. Bye!